Chester back with the ball, Shaw handling outside, Norristown falling back to the zone. Shaw coming. Shaw gives to Spence. Out to Granger. Granger moving over to Shaw. There's a well. call and a kick on Thompson. Chester looks like they might be trying to slow it down a little bit with their big man out. That's probably a smart move. Big thing for the Eagles, I think, is whether they can get on the backwards and stop Chester from rebounding. Here comes Granger. Looks like Chester's willing to eat some time off that There goes clock. Shaw with a long shot from the corner. No good. Johnson on the rebound in the fast break. He had Flowers ahead of him on the drive. Cuts the lead to three. 55. I think Pinky needed that one. Chester. Ball in the hands of Dennis. Dennis back to Granger. Granger to Dennis. Dennis breaks the press. Up the center. Finds Smith. No good with a shot. There goes the rebound. Ramsey controls. Ramsey's going to need some help team. there. Finds Johnson. Ball knocked out of bounds by Shaw. Almost with a steal. Well, I'll tell you, Jim. Binky hasn't had a great game tonight. I think he needed that. Maybe that'll provide the spark. But Chester's giving them that jump shot from 10 to 12 feet out, and I hope they start sinking it. Johnson to Thompson. Thompson That's taking a jump shot. No good. Johnson on the rebound. And there's a case where it looked like he might have been hit. Ball goes out of bounds. Here comes Granger. Norristown putting pressure. Press is broken pretty easily, and there's a man underneath. They've got to walk. A real Hawk. break for Norristown there, Jim. The man was wide open underneath. <laughs> yeah, big break, Norristown, because Chester had broken the press. A smart play, just fed the ball with a bounce pass up to the breaking man. Flowers coming down, Norristown trailing by three with 6.31 left. Johnson in the corner, comes back to Flowers. Flowers over to Thompson. Thompson finds Mayer. Mayer turns around, ball knocked away, Chester on the break. There goes the move from outside, no good. Much too far out. Mayers, Mayers over to Johnson. Johnson coming down court, looking, stops, finds Thompson with a jumper up. Good. Norristown cuts it to 155. That's 54. the one. Thompson, Six Thompson minutes up getting Thompson that with shot 12. all night. If Ramsey he leading him with 13. Will Press is broken. There goes the drive, and we're going to have another walking call on number 20, James Dennis. James I'll Paul. tell you, I don't know what they told the officials this summer. But somebody told them they don't call enough walking calls. If those two officials were in the pros, the game would never end. There goes Flowers. Flowers all the way underneath with a left-hand drive. Makes it good. Howard Flowers sending the Eagles ahead by one. Here comes Dennis. Dennis moving over to Granger. For Flowers, now 11 points. And Norristown has three players in double figures. Over to Shaw. Shaw to Spence. Spence with a jumper, strong, no good. There goes Johnson, looked down court, caught twice on the dribble. Here he comes. Spence picking him up, ball coming outside. Johnson over to Flowers. Flowers back to Johnson, moving to the right. Mayer's underneath, and now Norristown pulling the ball out a little bit. Johnson on the move, finds Thompson. Thompson back, and it looks to me like Thompson could work underneath. Flowers over to Thompson. Thompson on the drive, spin move, works his way underneath, oh. and hits. Norristown. And he got hit in the eye on that too, Jim. To see him grab his eye after the shot. 4.55 left, and Chester quickly gets Muhammad up off the bench to bring him back into the ball game. Timeout, Chester. It's really strange seeing the way they work with this guy, Muhammad. It seems like they're too slow with him in there, but yet he's very effective. They win the game. They score when he's in there. They get the rebounds. You look at him, and it's just what's deceptive about him. You can't tell how tall he is. He's so big, it's just deceptive, but he's the tallest man out there on the court. It's changed the whole momentum of this game. When he went out, they were controlling. Muhammad has 11 points tonight, and he has nine rebounds so far. When he went out, the teams were much more even in size, and Norristown began to control, and they began to get shots underneath the basket, which they had not been getting before. Norristown has got to stay strong off the boards. I'll tell you, Bears, he's not giving us much scoring, 
but he's playing pretty good defense out there, and he is really hustling. Mike Evans returns to the Norristown lineup for Priest Ramsey, and Flowers, Johnson, Evans, Mayers, and Thompson in for Norristown, falling back into their zone. Granger outside for Chester. Goes over on the right-hand dribble, comes deep to Spence outside. It looks like Norristown has gone. Dennis. And watch Muhammad underneath. Muhammad and Mayers battling underneath. What a battle that is. Norristown has gone into a zone. It looks like they're willing to give Chester that 10 to 12 foot shot. Now Shaw is starting to come alive underneath, so they've got a battle with him. And it'd be interesting if we could get a replay sometime of the battle underneath the board with Mayers number 23 and Muhammad 51. They are really going after each other. But I'll tell you, Jim, if Chester wins this by three or less, it's that half-court shot at the end of the period. That's just, I'll tell you, that's enough to make you sick. But some guy just throws it up there from the half-court, and it goes swishes through. 58-56, Norristown. Shaw with a second shot up and good. And Shaw, who was held in check in the first half, now has 13 points and is right behind Spence, who has 14. Thompson on the dribble, looks cross court, finds Flowers. Eagles still by one, outside to Johnson. Four minutes and 25 seconds left. Coming outside again to Johnson. Johnson over to Thompson. Thompson's on the move, on the fake, on the drive. Off the board, Thompson with a rebound, and Muhammad oh, can't play him. Great follow up by Thompson, following his own shot. 60 57, Eagles by three, as we come to the four minute mark in the ball game. You'd like to see the Eagles hold Chester here and get another basket. Dennis outside to Granger. Granger does not take the shot, finds Spence at the Granger, and it looks like Shaw and Muhammad. Ball into Shaw, and they are definitely trying to get Shaw. Shaw on the move, no good. Strong rebound, almost a walk, Evans control. And they're definitely getting the ball in the hands of Zane Shaw. Fast break to Johnson. Johnson on the dribble, and we're gonna have a foul. Foul is on Spencer's well, first. How many, how many times have we seen it come down to Pinky Johnson on the foul line, last year as well as this year? Still not a shooting foul, however. Chester has one more, and then they'll be in the one and one. Johnson coming down, 60-57, time to widen the lead if they can. On the drive, Fakes comes out, finds Mayers. Mayers with a jumper, yes. Nice pass, Johnson. Norris down by five as the clock goes down under 320. Granger on the move. Granger looking back, finds Spence back to Granger. Mayers now has 10, and Norris down once again showing that balanced scoring has four players in double figures. It's like they're telling Chester, you're going to have to win the game by shooting from the outside. Dennis on the move with a jumper up. Good. Forces in, and that's the first player other than Shaw to really handle that ball and get a shot in a little bit. Ball comes across to Flowers. Chester full court pressure. Ball to Mayers. Back to Johnson. Norristown still by three, 62-59. Johnson on the drive with a fake. No good. Ball almost lost. Johnson oh. controls. And there's a big possession for Norristown. Takes it back out. Comes across to Flowers. Flowers I, deep to Johnson, who's back toward half court. I think they'd like to get it to Thompson. Over to Flowers. Flowers on the move, Evans. Evans on the drive, underneath, good. That's the first two points for Mike Evans tonight. Eagles by five, two minutes and 15 seconds left. And every possession now becomes important. There's a steal by Evans, taken back oh, by that's Granger. And there's a big play by Granger, misses oh. the shot. Mayers throws it out into the hands of Dennison. Twice the Eagles had a chance to go up. Granger on the drive, no good. Evans battling, ball out of bounds off the hands of Spence. I'll tell you, Jim, Mohammed stood in that lane, which it seemed to me like forever. I, they're just missing the three second call on him. Lawrence Granger made a good play there for Chester that time. Norristown had a fast break. They were like five on O, oh, and he stopped the ball. Ramsey inbounding the pass, back in for Mayers. Norristown has its starters back. There's Evans on the drive. There goes Evans all the way with a dribble, no good. Ramsey battling, no good. Now, did no you good. see that, Jim? Did you see the way Mohammed crashed into but Priest Ramsey? There's a case where we should have had to pass that time ahead. There goes Granger. Granger to Dennis on the move. Dennis with the basket, 64-61. 
Comes across to Johnson, one minute and 30 seconds left. Up to Thompson, foul on Granger, will be his fourth. And Norristown actually that time had a two on one break and they didn't hit the man underneath on that last move. Well, they certainly had the opportunity, but, but you know what happens, the pace of going back and forth, back and forth is so fast. I, I don't know how they do it. Here's where foul shooting becomes important. Thompson one and one. I'll tell you, this is this is a, it's, it's like putting in golf, Jim. This is where the really the pay dirt is. Yep, you drive for show, you putt for dough. And that's what you're doing with a foul shooting now. Thompson makes the first, Norristown by four. And this, this is a big point here. A five point lead and with a minute and a half, 90 seconds left in the Thompson game. Thompson makes them both, big foul shots. Thompson with 18 now to lead the Eagles. Chester quickly up court. Shaw with a long one, three pointer. Strong, no good. Johnson battles for the board. Controlled by Evans, finds Johnson. Norristown has a four on two break. Johnson on the move, and Granger fouls him. Actually, a smart foul. Norristown had the four and two, and Granger with a foul. It will be his fifth. Is that his fifth, did you say? And Granger will be going out of the ball game. And Norristown is now sending Johnson to the foul line and moving all four players back. I'm not sure. I'm always in favor of this strategy. Well, Jim, is this a two-shot foul or a one-and-one? One? I didn't <laughs> notice. Did you pick that up? It's a one I think it's one. going to be one-and-one. Let's, one. let's see uh, Glenn Martin. Glenn, did you get that? Is this a one-and-one one or a two-shot foul? One-and-one? One? Yeah, I'm not sure it's a smart move. I would put at least one man on that line to eat up some clock. Howard Maxwell off the bench for Chester. One now, minute of course, and eight. who are we with Cresswell's record? I, I mean, who are we to criticize him? One minute and 18 seconds left here in the first half. Excuse me, in the ball game. Johnson oh. certainly don't want this to be in the first half. We want this win. The Eagles ice by man six. on the foul line. Norris down back, and what they want to do is force Chester to work for their shots. Chester took a bad shot the last time, and that's exactly what Cresswell wants his team to do. I'm surprised they're leaving Priest Ramsey in, Jim, for two reasons. One, he's not a great ball handler, and Norristown could think in terms of freezing the ball. And secondly, he's not a great foul shooter. Norristown by seven, one minute and 15 seconds left, 68-61. Shaw again in the drive. Ball stripped by Johnson. And you can see Shaw trying to shoot now to Ramsey. Ramsey underneath with the move. No good, off the boards, battling. Ramsey to Thompson, and they're gonna have a walking call. Good call, two Norristown players battling well, for the ball. Well, unfortunately, I have to agree with that call. They had the balls re resting on their shoulders. Cresswell wants them back. One minute. He wants the Eagles by Chester. seven. Have Chester there goes make Maxwell. Shots from the outside. Maxwell on the left hand shot. No good. Loses the ball. Evans comes up with it. Evans wants to get the ball up to Johnson. Johnson, and here comes a three on one break. Thompson with the ball. Over to the Flowers, and smart move by oh, Flowers. Smart goes move by Flowers. To Thompson. 43 seconds left. Binky Johnson fouled by Dennis. That Smart is the move second. by Flowers, because now it's the clock that's important now, not the scoreboard. And that's a disciplined ball team, and that is what Cresswell has taught them. This team knows how to play disciplined ball, and some of the Chester fans are now leaving, indicating that they feel that the Norristown Eagles have this ball game. Well, Jim, if it wasn't for those three-pointers, I, I might leave myself. But you never know in this game, and you saw that mid-court shot at the end of the third quarter. When a man puts in a three-pointer from mid-court. Binky Johnson makes the first. Norristown 69, Chester 61. 41 seconds left in the ball game, and you just don't want to get careless now. That's the big thing. Second shot up. Oh, and the ice good. Man. Eagles by nine. Johnson now has 10. All oh, five and Eagles Binky score. There's steals the, steal. the ball. Johnson finds Thompson. Thompson turns around, doesn't take on the dribble, and there goes a deliberate foul on Maxwell. That had to be deliberate. I mean, it's the guy could use a little more finesse and foul, and he, that had to be deliberate. Made the deliberate call. Thompson will shoot one and one. Eagles will get the ball out. And Frank, it's all over now, but the final score. Well, with 28 seconds left. And I'll tell you, Jim, it was the consistency of Thompson again, just
coming on at the right time and doing the right thing. Thompson and Binky shooting Johnson, two. his last quarter play, I would say even the second half of the last quarter, after having a terrible, what amounted to a terrible Here first comes Steve half, Bullrock Binky coming Johnson in for the North, for Norristown. Nice touch by John Thompson, giving this senior a chance to play. Scott did be a thrill for Bullrock. His mother is in the stands, and what a treat to get to play in this game. Norristown will inbounds, leading by 10 with 28 seconds left. Volrath will trigger the inbounds pass. Over to Johnson. Johnson, and there's another deliberate foul. You don't see that call too often. Yeah, I that one I wouldn't have called, Jim. You know, if you're going to call those. Another uh, two-shot foul and a technical foul on the Chester coach. I think those, I'm glad the game's over now because I, I didn't think the official had to do that. It was a very questionable call and, and an official has to understand that a coach is going to get upset now and then. I, I, I didn't like that call at all. Johnson shooting the two. Glad, I'm just glad it didn't decide the ball game. Fortunately, the ball game was pretty much decided before those last few calls were made. First shot is up and good. Johnson ready with a second. Up, it's good. Johnson makes it 73-61. Johnson now 12 points, and you gotta remember Johnson didn't score in the first half, or he had two in the first half. So all of this he's done this second half. He's gonna shoot the technical. Ball is up and good. Norris down by 13 with 27 seconds left. The and thing is, Jim, people are gonna see this final score and think Norris down had no problem. Anybody who's not at the game is going to think Norristown ran away with it. Okay, 74-61. I'll tell you, this game was a lot closer than that 13-point lead. Sure is. Steve Watson off the bench coming in the ball game for Norristown. There goes to Thompson. Thompson fouled this time by number 21, Derek Spence. He will go to the line for one and one. And here's where being able to shoot your fouls has paid off. Norristown has gained here at the end by their foul shooting ability. And the big thing is, Jim, this win for Norristown, when the starters were having terrible games, which they were at the beginning, some of them were having awful games, the guys on the bench came in and had great games. But the thing about the Norristown team is they don't depend on one or even two players. Shot is no good. It's Dennis on the move. Long jumper up, no good. Mike Evans strong off the ball. Ballrath coming down court. Ballrath looks for Watson. Over to Thompson. And Chester player down. I think he's got Fischl. a muscle cramp. Quickly Jim. call timeout, and I like to see that play. Even though Norristown has the ball, you don't want to see somebody hurt anymore. It's number 20, James Dennis. Dennis has 17 points, is the leading scorer for Chester and has done a really good job. You hate to see this happen because both teams have I, to go on to play on I, Friday. I think it's just a muscle cramp, Jim. They can't get it out, and, and I'll tell you, they're very painful. Fortunately, it's the type of injury that doesn't last uh, that long, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, you they're would just waiting for him to relax enough to get the cramp out. You would hate to see somebody lost here at the very end because I, I, Chester's going to have to play Plymouth White Marsh either this Friday or Saturday, and that's going to be a good game. I think I think all four of the teams in District One are going to go out and be strong in state oh, competition. Jim. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's like on a given night, any one of them, could, either one, could beat any other one. It's just like who happens to be making their foul shots, who happens to be making that ten-foot jump shot. Although I might say, I wasn't that impressed with Glenn Mills. It seemed to me that they depended too much on height. They... North, Norristown inbound. Oh. There goes a dunk. A, a Thompson thunder dunk on the inbound pass. Missed shot, battle underneath. Muhammad with a rebound.